I love Scarface. Mm -hmm. But when I heard you on that Scarface track, I still was waiting like Jada off to eat this hoe. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. New wave, same order. Same water. Yeah, what 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 made you come up with that slogan? What does that even? It's the blend. Okay. It's a separation these days with old and young, and you don't even get one without the other. Okay. You know, so it's just a blend. It's like, even though they got a new way of doing things, it's the same water they do, you know, same blend, you know. You know, I love one thing about you Houston niggas, man. I can't lie, y'all. I can't say, I be on these Dallas dudes a lot of time. I just was talking to somebody about this. Like, I be trying to figure out, like, who's next, who you helping, how, who you getting on the feature with. The young people coming up, you know, it seemed like y'all figure it out up there for real. Like, like y'all seem like y'all were. It may not even be that way, but it seems like. Yeah, it like does. when I talked to Young Easy, um, it was another time we had did this thing, um, and there were like J Dogs finna perform. So I remember going over there, and uh, DJ Pat. Um, it was his show, you know what I'm saying. So we went out there, and I remember feeling like I was so tired of. DJs trying to play and like cut my time and having to go up there get my money back and do stuff like that when I went with DJ Pat he was like nah bro you gonna get your whole time with me so me being nervous like man I'm gonna end up cutting my time I'm gonna go make sure I do my whole set J-Dog wasn't even in the building so boom J-Dog comes in there I say man what would it take for me to be able to perform in front of J-Dog they say $150 I said alright cool boom paid that Spit my flow, the one I shot a J Dog in, the next thing you know, we doing Menace to Society. That's like a song that's over six, seven hundred thousand views on YouTube with me and J Dog. And working with him is just like it's on a whole nother level, man. I feel like he's one of one of Houston's best. They uplift you some terrible. Like these young the other people coming behind you, you guys don't hesitate to be an imprint, whether they paying or whatever, or they got to hustle or whatever, y'all always be there for them, and I, I commend you guys for that. Yeah, I think I got that from the projects. Really? Yeah, I think if we don't got nothing down packed, we got the we thing, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's always been we. You know, it's never been me, you know? Yeah. I don't even believe that um, you could judge a parent the right way without looking at the kids. So I definitely don't believe that you can judge the little homies the right way without looking at the, you know, the old The OGs, yeah. And a lot of the OGs not doing their job. And you know, it ain't me the point of my, up to me the point of my butt. You can see it in their faces and, you know, not the ones that's up. They A lot of them say, man, I don't got no OG. A yeah, I hear that a lot. I heard that too. And they get offended when you speak up on and that's just unheard of in my era, but I, I can see where it come from. You know? But I want to know, but because the blueprint of what y'all have down there, because everybody always say it, just like what he was saying, the, to the togetherness down there in Houston. But I want to see that spread amongst everybody, because when we talk about Dallas, I've heard the youngsters say, I don't know these OGs. They stay in their lane, we stay in our lane, but why can't everybody come together? Yeah, I don't understand it either. It's tough. It's the same man. way in Houston, though. Oh, yeah, it, is it, the same it just look. It just. Look it don't it, look that way, though. Oh, it's so. It's so much like that. It's the same way, and, and I think everybody else look at everybody else's and they like, oh, it and I better. buy it, but it'd be the they same thing. They say the same thing. thing about Atlanta. They say Atlanta is so and together. And then we talk to the Reds and all them and talk and to all the people down still there. Separation. Say the same thing. So much competition with each other, man. I don't understand. Wow. Um, first time seeing yourself on BET. How was that? Uh. It was interesting, man. It was, <laughs> man, I can't even lie. <laughs> I don't even remember too much. What was the first time, 106 and Park? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it was, uh, was it uh, that No was the first time we was on BET, 106, I think. Yeah, yeah, Tigger. like what? Oh, no, the basement. The, it was Tigger. In the basement, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. How, what did you think when you seen yourself? I should have did more. You felt like you could have did something, brought it harder? Not harder, more. More. 
Yeah, because you know Which it's song like, was it? Because I don't want to have it wrong No, nah, they just dropped the beat in it's, the basement Oh, you talking about just you being in there stuff. Oh, you mm-hmm. was in there, you were only like that yeah, That I was the it. first time? Yeah, the first time You didn't feel like you killed him Because you Jada I didn't, all, do, I didn't do Who was wrong. in there with you? Me, Slim, Kylie I think I remember PJ, that now Kylie on PJ, Chris Ward I think that's it Are you a person that's always hard on yourself? Yeah so you gonna always think that no matter what then. Right, right. I'm real hard on myself. Mm-hmm. So when you went back and watched it, what was your, did you say I couldn't be hard? Go back you watch didn't watch it? it? I'm so petty. <laughs> I was like, fuck this. I ain't watching it. I ain't watching it. You just knew you, you just knew you could have done better. I just knew if I would have been 100% me when I went in that room, it would have been, you know what I mean? Epic. You know. Did you? Is it just cause? Cause I ain't gonna lie. When I hear you on a track, I expect you to be bring the hardest out of everybody. I don't care. And it and it's sad because I'm a I love Scarface. Mm-hmm. I, but when I heard you on that Scarface track, I still were waiting like Jay Dolph to eat this hoe. Like it, that's the way we be feeling for you, bro. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm, I'm being real. I'm over appreciative because you know faces like. Yeah, and I'm telling you, even that's why I said his name because it would be you wouldn't think that a nigga would be anticipating the way because you I think you came last on that diversion. Yeah, what you know about the late nights? No lights and no food. No diapers for the babies. The whole house smell like boo boo. And, and and when you came, a nigga waiting on it. It made it like I got. We got to hear what Jada was gonna hmm. say. And you didn't let us down either. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> How was that? You got to break that down for me. I didn't just say that just for fast I didn't by. even hear a face on it before I got on it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I just heard Slim kill it. Born and raised on the North Blocks. Home of the hard knocks. Want to get rich. Find a spot to pump that home. But he told me face was going to be on it. So that was enough for me. You knew you had to bring it. Yeah. Well, you know, all I do is tell my story. So I ain't really a lyrical. Uh, I, don't I, I know that, heart. but... So you know, I just you don't. know when you giving you just said I didn't give it my best shot when I was in the basement. You know when you get on that track. I was nervous in that basement. I get it. I want you know what I mean. I yeah. was nervous in that because that's the first time you're doing something yeah, like I'm that. Like, man, I'm thinking about it. I watched this shit, man, and if I fumble, how embarrassing that would be. So I guess I I just I mm-hmm. want I want you know I was a little nervous on the fumbling part. Wow. I did not want to fumble. Mm-mm-mm. So you've been back on BT after that, right? Because you you went to one yeah, award and, shows, award and stuff. show and stuff like that. But you've never done anything like that again live on BT. Nah, well they don't have too much in nothing no more. You know um, they don't have the the shows. The right. basement gone, one hundred six gone. They need to bring all that back. Cause that was fun. I remember I them think days. Tyler Perry would have brought some of that back. I was He's hoping so. But then, if he starts something new, it's almost like you'd want him to not bring that back, but do something totally different, because you don't want to make it feel like he's trying to copy them. It ain't too much you can do if you got any kind of competition against BET. I think you're going to be hard to win against BET. Mm-hmm. New BETs, yeah, that's true. They BET. say that about podcasts. podcasts. That's right. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.